I've just had 54321 in my ear, which is entirely appropriate because the first ever space launch from the United Kingdom is due to take place tomorrow. The Virgin Orbit Company is launching the Start Me Up mission from Spaceport Cornwall in Newquay. Spaceport Cornwall was currently, uh, recently, I beg your pardon, granted a licence to launch satellites into space, space by the Civil Aviation Authority, the first such licence ever issued in the United Kingdom. Uh, however, uh, it could lead to so much more than that, and indeed a new industry, space innovation for the United Kingdom. To tell us more about all of that is GB News' very own southwest of England reporter, Jeff Moody. There he is, not in a space suit, but in his normal smart attire. You've got a big press conference coming up. What are you expecting to hear? Yes, I have. We're expecting all the big players to be speaking at two o'clock in this marquee just behind me. Uh, the world's press, the country's press in particular, have all uh, taken a little bit of time off from Harry to, uh, to gather here, ready to hear what they have to say. That's at two o'clock and we will bring it to you live. Now, it's a collaboration between Virgin... Uh, between the UK Space Agency and Spaceport Cornwall down here. We're expecting the launch to take place, weather permitting, at midnight tomorrow night. So we've got a long couple of days ahead of us, Alistair. Indeed so. And some of the numbers in the newspapers this morning about it all are huge, dare I even say astronomical. How significant is this launch, not just for the uh, UK, but for Cornwall specifically, and a new emerging industry? Well, as you say, a new emerging in industry. I mean, this area uh, was was uh, a mining area for many years. That was the main wealth behind Cornwall. They've relied on tourism uh, in recent years, but they really need something else. They're crying out for something else down here. And this is what it is. It's going to be this launch. Now, it's not the sort of traditional launch that you might expect. We're not going to see a big Cape Canaveral-style rocket taken off. It's the, We're British, so the rocket is going to be transported gently up to space in a Boeing 747. It's a special adapted Boeing 747, adapted by Richard Branson. Um, I'm standing by, uh, for those on the radio, I'm standing by um, a, a, a model of the rocket. I'll just briefly talk you through it. So the uh, cosmic girl, the space plane, will take off at midnight tomorrow. When it gets to the right height, it will dispense this particular rocket, Newton 3. Uh, the fins will be uh, helping to steer it. Now that will go on for three minutes, just three minutes. Uh, during that time, we've got the liquid oxygen and the RP-1 that will mix together inside stage one of the rocket. That's the rocket propellant tank. But if you come a little further along, you've got the oxygen tank here. And then up here is the second stage of the engine. This is where the liquid oxygen, uh, 1,600 kilograms of liquid oxygen in here, uh, that's where all of that is mixed together. And finally, at the very end, is the payload fairing. Now, that protects the satellite during the launch. And the actual satellites themselves are on this little bit at the end. Now, the purpose of the satellites, to start with, uh, is going to be monitoring the Earth on behalf of the Ministry of Defence. They're going to be monitoring the Earth and the oceans from the satellites. But uh, who knows where the future will take?